Hello, welcome to Dash 35's YouTube channel. My name is Kevin. Today I'm going to show you the new Mini Educator 300. Now it has tons of features um, already, um, surpasses the competition, but uh, eColor Technologies is up the ante on this with a great price point and um, tone. Now we have tone now. So I'm going to show you how to change that. I'm going to do a series of videos that covers every aspect of the Mini Educator. Um, those will subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I'll be showing you more of this, this stuff. And uh, you'll get notifications when I do. So first off, out of the box, the Mini Educator will be by default on vibration mode. So we want to change that. So first thing you want to do if you can see the red line here, this means it's on. Let's go back here. That means it's on zero. This red line has to be vertical with the LED, so we know it's on zero. So, in order to change the tone, we have to make sure that's on zero. Don't pay attention to this. It says 25. It's a level. I have it set on, but uh, just don't pay attention to the LCD. Just pay attention to the red line. On the rheostat dial. Okay, so the L button on the back and the T button, these are the two buttons we're going to use. So press and hold the L button. You can actually do this with one hand, but I'm going to use two since I have it out here. And we should hear a single beep and there should be an A show up. Yep, that's all we need. We're on vibration now. So then we press, and if we want to go back to vibration, make sure we're on zero. Press and hold the L button on the back. L button. This is Nick in continuous mode switch, but this is it's actually the light button. So press and hold. Two beeps. That means we're back on vibration. So let's go back to change it over to tone. So press on the L button. There we are. So, so if you hold this for 10 seconds, it'll follow with a correction. This is on zero. So when you switch this over, it'll always be at zero. Tone only. If you want to do um, um, some different conditioning, it's um, the tone and followed by static correction and or tone only. These are um, Pavlovian, um, a Pavlovian uh, conditioning, which is similar to when you were a child. I'm old school, I'm old or older. Um, when you heard the ice cream truck, you dropped everything and ran to it. It's the same thing. We're going to use tone to get the same response. Now, for all of you that had cats or have owned cats before, and you feed them canned food, you don't even have to call them. All you got to do is break that lid, and they're there. We're going to use the same principles with tone to actually um, train our dogs to condition them. Um, so, when the tone is set, that's tone only. So, I train at, I've got this on 25, I usually train on a 14. So, I'm going to hold that after 10 seconds, and I'm going to move it up to 14. Let's do 14. I'm going to let off of it. So, I can tone all I want. If I get no response, I'll do a static correction, which means I'll hold this for 10 seconds. Now, it's showing 14 instead of 0 because I moved it. For 10 seconds, there's a static. Okay, there we go. So, this is the tone. Um, easy to change. L button, T button. L button's a light button, T button's a tapping sensation. We're going to switch it back over real quick, make sure it's on zero. L, double, um, tone, vibration. This is Kevin again from Dash35.com. Uh, please visit us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to have some cool stuff out. I also have some dur a, a video on durability testing on this. I ran over it and I really abused this and it, it not this particular one but the older one it still works 
uh, believe it or not. Anyways, have a great day. If you have any questions or do you, you know you want me to, to to do a particular video, just leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to do that for you. Uh, thank you, and uh, have a wonderful day.